Coves. Spice Island of Zanzibar. When you talk of Zanzibar, you talk of the Spice Island. You know, it's a it's a it's a it's an island which is uh, it's a romantic island. It, it's in the history books. You know, uh, it's in the romantic books. We have beautiful beaches. You know, along the coast, we have the islands of the of course the island of Zanzibar, which is uh, Unguja and uh, Pemba. We have also the small islands, for example, in, uh, in Mafia. There are a lot of hotels, for example, along the northern part of Zanzibar and the southern part of Zanzibar, where tourists could go and stay there. And I'm sure that when they go there, they don't want to come back. You know. Nobody comes to Tanzania without going to Zanzibar. The, the people, the culture, you, know, you need to go there to feel it yourself. One can truly appreciate the history of Stonetown, the capital of this magical island, while walking through narrow winding streets, vivid markets and colourful bazaars which fascinate every soul. There are still many buildings standing from the days of the great sultans who ruled this island. Well, Zanzibar comprises of two main islands. That is the island of Zanzibar, which is called Unguja, and the island of Pemba plus 53 small islets. But when tourism come to Zanzibar, there are very, th very things that uh, uh, they're going to see. For example, the culture of the people, uh, uh, which is described in the strong town. Uh, there's an intangible culture whereby the friendliness of the people, the reception of the people, how receptive people are, as well as the various sites, including the marine and terrestrial environment. The beaches are very nice. Uh, the marine sanctuary is perfect and there are many many more things to see for, for them to see like the colobus monkeys if you go to Pemba in the Pemba channel it's very nice for diving the variety of seeing things that one could can see in Zanzibar which you cannot find in other places because our long historical perspective the abundance of secluded yet beautiful coastline and the opportunity to dive contribute to the magic of this captivating place only 20 minutes drive from Stonetown, you will find yourself surrounded by white sandy beaches, palm trees, coral reefs, crystal blue waters and idyllic islands. Zanzibar is a, is a destination that is growing. We have been growing uh, at 8% per annum, which is quite substantial in the sub-Saharan Africa. Uh, our target is to cross for this year over 100,000 tourists, which we shall, because as we are talking now, this is, uh, we're coming to the end of October, we've already received 93,000 tourists, and yet we've got uh, two more months to, to finish the year. And the two more months are the months whereby the tourism activities are very, very high, and talking to various hotels and tour operators, all the hotels are fully booked, by January up to February. Therefore, that shows that it's an island which is uh, on the positive side, that the, 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 the tourism development trend is more on the positive side. But secondly, as an island which is yet not yet ex fully exploited, it, uh, the, the, the marine is pristine, the culture of the people is unique, the environment is perfect, there is a lot to be discovered compared to other destinations whereby they have started long ago and now most of the, some, most of the resources are starting to become depleted. Mm -hmm. Therefore, whoever comes to Zanzibar then would be guaranteed of a good market, good reception, very friendly atmosphere, peace and security, very, very high religious tolerance. Mm -hmm. That goes to all, the message to all there would be visitors as well as investors. So far, our record is very, very good. It's a very, very peaceful island. You can go around the day, in the night, everywhere. People are very, very friendly.